This video covers how to set price alerts and the options you have once an alert has been triggered. Alerts are set on a symbols quote page. You will set an intraday or end of day alert and identify the price at which the alert should trigger. Bar chart checks for intraday alerts every five minutes throughout the trading day. For stocks, prices are checked against BAT's real-time data when available. All other prices are checked against delayed intraday data. End-of-day alerts are checked against the closing price of the day's session and set at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can edit or delete an alert from the quote page or from your alert center, which I'll review shortly. Once an alert has been triggered, you have three ways of getting notifications. First, the top status bar in your account shows you the number of triggered alerts you need to review. Second, your home page, which is your personal market feed, shows any alert that has been triggered. Use the filter to show only your alerts if they are not readily available on the page. Acknowledge the alert from your feed. This won't delete it, but saves it in your alert center so you can deal with it later. You can also reset the alert from your feed if you wish. Third, the alert center holds all of your alerts, those triggered, any active alerts, and also acknowledged alerts from your feed. The triggered alerts tab shows any alert that you have yet to acknowledge or respond to. Once triggered, a new alert for this symbol will not be sent again unless you edit and save it again as an active alert. The Active Alerts tab shows all alerts that have been set but have yet to trigger. You can edit or delete any alert shown. The Acknowledged Alerts tab shows all triggered alerts that you've reviewed but have chosen not to reactivate or delete. Once again, you may edit and save an alert to reactivate it or remove it completely. Your subscriptions page gives you the option to receive email notifications whenever an alert is triggered. The alert will go to the primary email address found in your login information page. That's it for now. Look for the help links on the site and check out our Facebook page for more training videos.